Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to update the uh, firmware on a Mellanox 10 gig network card. So right here I have two terminals where I'm logged into my server. The server has uh, six Mellanox cards installed, so let me go ahead and show you that. So you'll see here are uh, six Ethernet controllers. They are, they are the Connect X-3 variety. Now if we take a closer look at one of these, you will see, well let me scroll up here, um, <clears throat> you will see that they're, they're using the ConnectX uh, 3 driver and this is an MCX311A-XCAT so that's a single port uh, 10 gig network card with that SFP plus um, and it's a PCIe 3.0 with a Four, uh, four PCI lines. And this is using the MLX4 underscore core Linux driver for this network card. I've got six of these uh, installed and I'm going to go ahead and update the firmware. In order to do that, you have to use uh, the uh, tools provided by Mellanox. So the two files that you're going to want to need, uh, want to download here are the uh, MFT package and this has all the tools for, for, for flashing the firmware and the actual firmware for file itself, which is uh, this file here. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpack um, this. Okay, so there's a bunch of files in this tarball that we just unpacked. And you'll find, let me do a listing here so you kind of get a view. There's a couple of RPMs here that contain the tools. And then there's a source RPM that contains uh, a kernel driver that uh, needs to be installed for these tools to work. And so you might be tempted to go ahead and just install these RPMs, but it's actually easier if you run their intel install script because it will uh, build the, the kernel package that's required for this stuff to work. So I, I don't recommend you install the packages uh, directly, but you know, rather use the script that's provided. And because it's going to be building a kernel package, you're going to need the kernel uh, development pack, uh, RPM, in this case in CentOS, but in whatever Linux distribution you're using, make sure that the kernel uh, development package, uh, package for the kernel that you're running is installed. And so uh, just to kind of show you that I have that. Okay, so I'm running kernel 310.0-957. Dot one dot three, and this is on a CentOS seven system with the latest updates uh, applied. And so, since I have this package, I can go ahead and run the install script. Now, if you were to run the in install script and you did not have this package, it'll issue a warning and abort. And so, you know, it'll basically kind of direct you to and go ahead and install this. But since I've already have that done, let's just go ahead and run the install script. So here it is building the kernel package uh, using the probably the source RPM here. And once that's uh, built and installed, it will go ahead and install the MFT package, which provides the command line tools. All right. In order to use these tools, you need to run MST start. And that loads the modules that are necessary for the firmware uh, management tools to talk to the cards. So right now we can run MLX uh, firmware manager and if I just run this you will see there's uh, a huge listing that just kind of sc scrolled by but we'll just look at one example of this. So device number six, this is a, the sixth um, card that's in here, is uh, currently on firmware 2.10. Uh, 4290 and the update that we have is actually newer than that so we're going to go ahead and apply that. Now what's important here is this PCI device name. So you're going to need this in order to this path in order to update um, the firmware. Okay so um, so if if I were to just say grep out device name okay 
So these uh, six paths are what I'm going to need. Now the firmware itself, um, let me kind of back out of this directory. The firmware itself is this other file and we need to unzip that. And so you'll just have an ordinary .bin file. And normally in order to update the firmware, you'd run this tool called Flint. And if, I'm, if I remember correctly, I think you give it this uh, dash D and you give it one of these. So let me just kind of use the, the zeroth one. And then you give it dash I, the firmware file, and then you run burn uh, as the kind of command. So I believe if you run this, let's see, yeah. So if you run this, it checks the firmware, the current firmware version and the new version that you're about to apply. And it'll ask you if you know, want to go ahead. And if you answer yes here, I'm gonna answer no for a second because I need to do all six, um, six cards at once. So I'm gonna take a shortcut on that and start running these one by one. But basically that's the command. You do a flint, a dash D, you give it this device uh, name, dash I, and then you give it the firmware file and the command burn. All right, so I want to do all six uh, Melodox cards at once. So I'm gonna run uh, or write a short loop. So for I in uh, sequence zero uh, to five, I'm going to run uh, this flint command. Now I'm gonna do a dash Y and this dash Y will uh, automatically respond to this prompt, uh, the do you want to continue prompt and answer yes. That way I don't have to uh, manually uh, uh, respond to that question every time since I'm doing all six of them at once. Dash D, MST, uh, well, you know what? This will probably be easiest if I just kind of cut and paste that. And then dollar I, and so this dollar I will reference the the loop uh, iterator, which is going to go from zero to five. And as if you recall from up here, uh, the six cards are zero through five. Okay, and then the firmware file, go ahead, do that and burn. And then that should be end of the loop. So if I'm go ahead and just uh, hit enter now, it should go ahead and uh, burn the firmware or update the firmware on all six cards. Let's. Okay, so that's it. That's uh, all six uh, Melanox cards uh, with the latest uh, firmware. Now, if we run ML MLX uh, FW Manager again, you will see that the current running firmware is still the old version. So we're gonna have to reboot here for it to load the new firmware. Uh, but the, the new firmware is definitely there. And so if we go ahead and reboot this machine, all right, so the machine's booted back up. Let's go ahead and log in again. And I gotta switch to root in order for the tool store. And you have to run this MST start again. All right, so if we do MLX firmware manager, So now you'll see that the current firmware that's running is the new version that we just flashed onto the cards. And we should see that with all six cards. Perfect. All right, so that's it. That's all it takes to update the firmware on the Mellanox network cards. If you like this video, please click on like. And if you'd like to see other videos from me, please subscribe to my channel. All right, have a good day, thank you.